Well, we are back in the 207 kitchen at our main studios. With us today, our friend Lynn Archer from the Brass Compass Cafe and Archer's on the pier in Rockland. What's on the menu? Well, I'm making rock Cornish game hens stuffed with wild rice and long grain rice and just a, a nice, easy, entertaining dish. All right, let's get started. What have you got going here? So this is just celery and onion mm -hmm. and you saute it translucent. Okay. All right, as we uh, proceed along here, a quick question. Uh, Cornish game hen, very similar to chicken, but not the same. To you, what's the difference in taste? Not much in taste at all. They're a little more delicate, perhaps, and they're very um, tender, as long as they're cooked, not overcooked, and right. they're really, really simple to make. They're small, so you, you can overcook them if you're right. not paying attention. The best part about this dish is if you have a large crowd of people and you want to do a roasting pan full of them, each one is an individual serving. So. I entertained recently and I had 10 people come for dinner and I made 10 in a big roasting pan. It took an hour and 20 minutes for the dish to complete and it was a big pan of them. So usually if you're only making one or two, then yep. you got about an hour. Okay. So next step. Next step. I just um, cooked off some wild rice and some long grain rice just like you ordinarily would and I leave it a little al dente. Okay and then a little bit of, about a cup of cranberries, because I was going to do two. Okay. Salt and pepper in your celery and onion. Mm-hmm. And a little bit of thyme. Okay. So just kind of the typical spices, nothing too exotic here. Not at all. If you were making this not around the holidays, would you still use the cranberries? So if you're making that in the spring or Sure, why or not? Okay. Why not? You could use apple. I mean, it's pretty versatile. If you like apple, you could use apple. If you like orange, I actually put orange slices in the bottom of my dish. I like that idea. And it keeps them from sticking on the pan. Plus the essence of the orange is really, Gets really nice. transferred, yeah, to the dish, and that is good. Okay, now we... Just going to stir that up a bit. Stir it up a bit. And as you can see, that would be enough for, I used too much rice probably, but that would be enough for if you were going to make four or five right there. That was two cups of cooked off wild rice. You don't need that much because again, the bird is small. The so bird is not small. There's a lot of room in there. And I just take some orange slices, put them right in the bottom of my pan. Okay. Put my hen in. And you stuff it just like you would a chicken. Right. Same right, way. Right. And let it roll right out of the whole little chicken. Hen. Cornish hen. Game hen. Game please. hen. Could you do this dish with a chicken? You could, right? Of course you could. Yeah. No, nothing, of nothing course different. you could. It would, be, it would just a longer baking time. Same approach, different But the best time. part about this is it's a single serving. Mm -hmm. So when you have a large platter of them, everybody has their... Makes it easy to plan. Easy to plan, add a salad and a vegetable, and you've got your dinner done in a relatively short time. Okay. The outside of the chicken is the same seasoning as you'd put on the inside. Mm -hmm. Little salt, little pepper, little thyme. And the, um, the other thing about this that's really nice, I often will take the legs and tie them right to just kind of keep the stuffing all in not that it ever does not that it's got too far to go no okay no and tie a little bow <laughs> and then that'll go into the oven into the oven 350 Four. about an hour not long make yourself a salad and you've got it done and then this is what that dish would look like when it's ready to go and the thing about this chicken too, the last 10 minutes, so you're at 350, the last maybe five to 10 minutes, turn it right up to 425 and take a spoonful of your pan juices because all of that orange that from the orange underneath, you just baste it on top and it'll brown it up beautifully. And the smell from the orange, amazing. Not a difficult dish, but something a little special, a little out of the ordinary. The recipe is on our website, newcentermain.com, also on our mobile app, along with more information about the Brass Compass Cafe and Archers on the Pier in Rockland. Lynn, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Stay with us. We're going to be back with more of 207 right after this.